Senator Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I really enjoyed working with you, but wow. <laughs> this committee is uh, taking a very dangerous turn under your leadership, to be honest with you. You're singling out a single company because of your political agenda to socialize this country. Every time I turn around, you're having a hearing about anybody that makes money is bad. The government needs to grow beyond our ability to pay for it. And we're going to have an election on your ideas here soon, and I can't wait. As to the process, there's a process in this country. If you feel like uh, the law has been violated in your efforts to unionize uh, the workforce, you can file a complaint. People will have a hearing. And there's a process to debar companies who engage in illegal behavior. There is a process. This is a political process here. This is an effort to get an outcome you want using the United States Senate as your vehicle. This is very dangerous. You can have oversight hearings all you like, but you've determined Amazon is a piece of crap company. That's your political bias. They're subject to the laws of the United States. They shouldn't be subject to this. If we get the committee back, we're not going to do this. We're going to talk about how to save Social Security, keep Medicare from becoming insolvent, how to change the structural problems of our debt. I'll talk to you about climate change. What happens if you electrify all the vehicles in the country? What does that mean for power producers? I'd like to work with unions. I've got an uncle who was a vice president of a union, paper mill union, to bring jobs back into America. I'd like to work with companies, uh, unions, and the private sector to become energy independent again. So I'm not here to demagogue the union process in this country. I'm here to say that if you're a business, you can have a say too about your workforce. The idea that you can only get a government contract if you promise to be neutral is ridiculous. Boeing is in South Carolina making the 787. There's been efforts to unionize Boeing. They lose. The people in that plant will make that decision. The idea that Boeing can't argue the merits of a right-to-work environment for their business is ridiculous. And I think patently illegal. This is a heavy-handed approach, the most radical agenda in my lifetime. And it should be carried out at the ballot box, and it will be. If we take this body back, this demonization of individual companies that are subject to the law will cease. Thank you.